so back again i know the last time i posted it was about the brooks adrenaline and i was switching over to the hokas because my brooks adrenaline had worn down so much I ended up buying another pair of the brooks adrenaline i had to get it online i had to get a used shoe um someone had returned it to a store and the store was just trying to sell them out got it arrived practically brand new no problems love it um so the last time i posted one of the things that i was complaining about with the Brooks Adrenaline was the higher heel drop seemed to make me lose some of the flexibility in my leg because I was perched up so high. Whereas before that, I had a pair of shoes that were much more flat um, with a lower heel drop. So I switched to Hoka's, which were lower, but the ones I got, I just didn't like them. They were like, they're heavy. They were just too soft. It took forever for them to react. It felt like they weren't really moving with my feet. So I sent those back and instead I bought the Sikoni Tempest. These were actually a lot more expensive than I thought they were going to be, but they felt pretty good in the store and I was there for like ever. So <laughs> I finally just walked out with these. I used them for summer. I've done about 200 miles in them just to give you an idea of how much usage. I use them on the road. I don't use them on trails. I did try running in the snow during winter with them, but the grooves are just so shallow in the bottom that they don't have a deep enough groove to get you any traction, unlike the Adrenaline, which has these nice deep grooves in the bottom. So this is definitely not a winter shoe, in my opinion. I think this would be just good for summer. I think it could work on dirt, but I just don't like how shallow the grooves are. It's, it's perfectly fine on the road, but just other surfaces I wouldn't recommend it um, the material is very very thin so extremely breathable these holes are so much bigger than what I'm used to having on my shoes so they have amazing ventilation when your feet are hot I thought that there might be some tears in this material because it is so thin and surprisingly there's not um, nothing has broken the foam on the bottom there are some like cracks and it has dried up a bit, but I suspect that has a lot to do with the cold temperature that I was using them in as winter was approaching. I think the cold air kind of made them like dry out a little bit. If I had just used them during summer, I don't think that would have happened. I did put a different insole in with a little bit of gel because these don't have nearly as much cushion as what I'm used to in my heel. I was getting a lot of heel pain, which I was dealing with that before. And that's why I had bought the Brooks Adrenaline was they were much more cushiony and that higher heel drop was helping with the heel pain. Um, the heel pain did start coming back. It's not that bad that I can't tolerate it, but when I'm going downhill, I can definitely feel the power shooting up the back of my leg. Um, these also take a lot more muscle. So when I was in the Adrenalines, because they had that rocker, gravity would kind of pull me forward. Whereas these, they're so flat, I have to do more like pull myself like that, if that makes any sense. So I felt a lot more stress on the muscles in my legs, especially um, the hamstrings and the calves. Like the calves most definitely um, needed a lot more power. So my lungs would feel okay, but my legs would get tired. Whereas these, my legs would feel great, but my lungs would get a little bit tired. Um, so I increased my strength exercise for my legs and that definitely helped, but the heel pain is just, it's such an, it's a no-no for me. So, um, if you don't, if you're not a heel striker, like your neutral front foot, or maybe, you know, this kind of heel drop is something you're already used to, I don't think that's going to be a problem for you. I have no complaints about these shoes, except for the heel pain. That's literally the only problem I have. Ventilation is great. Level is great. Durability is great. Um, very, very comfortable. Love the tongue. Um, I like the traction, not necessarily for winter, but just in general, the only complaint I have is the heel pain. So if you do have some heel pain or you are a heel striker, that's probably the one thing that would deter me from recommending this to you. So try the shoes on at the store. Always try them on at the store. If you don't like them, just bring them back. There shouldn't be a break in period with this. So if you are having a lot of foot pain, you've got the wrong shoe or you need to make some changes to it. Same thing with the Brooks Adrenaline. Like, they felt just as good when I stopped using them as when I first purchased them. So, uh, yeah. Tempest is definitely a good shoe. Just not for me.